What's up guys, I'm back with another wash day routine and today I'm using Carol's Daughter's Wash Day Delight with Rose Water Collection. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today and giving my review, so let's get into it. I start off by fully drenching my hair and then I start with the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Love It First Wash Water to Foam Shampoo with Rose Water. Now this shampoo is a little bit different. It starts off as a liquid and it has liquid micellar technology that acts as a magnet to attract and lift away buildup for a thorough scalp and hair cleanse without leaving your hair feeling stripped. So I will say my hair did feel really, really clean after this and it did feel kind of stripped, but it wasn't that bad. At least my hair was super, super clean. So I did really like that. I also wanna note that the product smells really good and that's super important to me. Now I'm going in with their Dream Detangler Jelly to Cream Conditioner with Rose Water and Glycerin. Now these products have no parabens, no sulfates, no silicones, no artificial colors, etc. I will say this consistency of this one was a little different. It started off as a jelly for sure and it definitely felt like grease going in instead of a cream. I will say again it smelled really really good and my hair when I applied this Jelly to Cream Conditioner it felt super super soft. I feel like Carol's Daughter really captured the essence of what roses smell like with these products. So my hair definitely smelled really, really good. So as you can see, I split my hair up into four sections and it's really easy for me to detangle my hair with my detangling brush. I will say again, it made my hair feel super, super soft, easy to detangle. And y'all know that's super important for me, especially on wash day. So I two strand my twist up and then I do that for all four sections. And then my hair is fully ready to go for the rinse section of my wash day routine also as you can see now it's now in the cream consistency now now i'm going to rinse that off my hair felt super soft after rinsing this off it smelled really really good my hair absorbed water much better after using this and this is what my hair is looking like right after i rinsed it out as y'all already know i have low porosity hair so you see the water beads just sitting on top of my hair so then i'm going to follow up with the next step i make sure i fully drench my hair with water before i go in with their next step which is their leave-in moisturizer so after i drench all four sections i'm going in with their cream serum moisturizer with rose water and glycerin now this was definitely a more lightweight consistency than i'm used to for like a leave-in so i did not really like this product i felt like it really didn't do anything it did not add any moisture to my hair really i honestly felt like i could have skipped this step i really felt like nothing was going on my hair but scent like it smelled really good but for my hair type and texture it did not provide really any moisture for me which was not the best thing for me i mean it felt soft for a little bit and then the moisture quickly just left my hair so i did that for all four sections and now i'm out of the shower and ready to start my styling process so this is what my hair is looking like straight out of the shower after using their cream serum moisturizer the product that interested me the most was their gel to foam styler i had never heard or seen anything like it so as you can see it comes out of the bottle as a foam like a nice light foam but as you rub it in and put it on your hair it really does go into like a jelly foam consistency it's not you know as lightweight as a foam but it's not as heavy as a gel so i did like the way that it felt so i applied it to my hair and y'all know i really don't use foams because i don't know what to do with them and as you can see it's not really giving me the definition i was expecting or hoping for so i kind of just try to rake that through i try different methods i try shingling i tried the praying hands method i tried adding more product adding more water i mean it gave me a little definition i worked in small sections it just was not giving what it needed to give for me as far as wash day, I mean, it had a little bounce. It definitely did provide me some shine, but that was about it. So I just wanted to show y'all a close up of what my hair is looking like after I applied the gel to foam styler, which is like their foam gel kind of styling product. And that's what I'm doing for the rest of this. So I'm gonna just kind of montage this for y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing and then I'm gonna follow up. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos and let me know what other videos you want to see from me. I found most of these products in my local Target store. However, I could not find the cream to serum moisturizer anywhere. So I did have to order it on Amazon. So if you've been looking for it, definitely check out my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description box below. And definitely go ahead and shop my Amazon storefront. I'm a part of the Amazon Influencer Program, of course, now. And I do get a commission when you shop my store. But honey, you're going to love shopping my store. So I'm almost finished here. 
Now I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the gel foam to the top of my hair and I'm gonna give it a nice little shake to kind of loosen up my curls. And this is what it's looking like right after I applied the last product, the gel to foam styler all over my hair. Give y'all a little close up. It's looking real cute right now. I mean, it's giving very much, you know, fluffy wash and go, quick wash and go lightly defined wash and go but i was trying to give it a chance and see what it was going to look like honey when i say this was not cute when i woke up from my little nap and let it air dry it was not cute and i did not like it so i had to figure out something to do quick i went ahead and said okay i'm gonna do a nice puff so i got some water y'all know spray that all around your edges then i went in with some eco styler gel and applied it to the perimeter of my hair got my hard bristle brush and went to work so, as you can see, I'm brushing up the perimeter of my hair, my edges, trying to make sure everything is laid flat. And then it's time for me to kind of shape my puff, do my edges with the Edge Booster Style Factor Gel. And this kind of was the final result. Now, here is the final result. Now, I will say I would use these products all together, probably minus the cream, the serum, moisturizer, because I didn't really like it. But if I'm looking to do a quick wash and go puff for like a cute date night, something I need to do really quick, I probably would use these products because this gave me a bomb, cute, kind of big, fluffy puff that I typically cannot achieve until like day five or six of my regular wash day. So if I want to directly go straight into a puff, I would definitely use this wash day products especially the gel to foam styler i really really liked it so i hope y'all like this video and i hope to see you in the next one because over here we're fabulous flourishing having fun okay bye